There's the frost breath and the snow. What's going on here? Close combat training. Fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Arayo. My brother Varak and I run this training pit. We watched you bring down the bulwark. It made our day to see that arrogant commander so furious. You're welcome to train here, but you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. We also offer challenges for any fighters looking to test their skills. Complete all of them, and you'll go up against me and Varak. What happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. You earn marks from us, and the pit masters in Scalding Spear and Thornmarsh. You'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh trainer. Way more than just that. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? You're no ordinary Outlander. So, what do you say? Let me know if you want to practice in the pit, or take on a challenge. Just need a rib for next thing about. And you can't win a battle if you're dead, and distance will keep you alive. This combination gets you out of trouble, and punishes your enemy. Charger horns for Della and Boomer now. Just need a rib from that fang horn they were talking about. Survival on the battlefield is down to tactics. Your best target isn't always the closest, so select your target and strike. Judging by these markers, that climbing trail Jekka talked about must be nearby. I should check up on her brother while I'm here. The way that wind picked up, happened. there's bound to be an avalanche. That person looks like they're in charge. I should talk to them. Well, Breaker, if you've come to witness the March of the Ten, you're out of luck. Actually, I came looking for someone called Pento. Pento? That poor scab was as good as dead even before the storm hit. You're out of line, soldier. What's he talking about? The kid you're looking for is still up on the mountain along with two others. Pento was the only one who decided to break tradition and climb without a partner. His odds aren't good. I'm sorry to say they never were to begin with. As far as being Tanak goes, he's got most of it backwards. So what, you're all just waiting here? Shouldn't you be calling for help? Couldn't find anyone in that storm, even if we wanted to. Those kids are at the mercy of the mountain now. We'll see about that. But first, a couple of questions. Why is everyone so sure this Pentaw can't climb that mountain? Our people are soldiers. We respect strength and agility. Pento has neither. 
Never has. He's been stuck on cleaning duty since he was a child. Yet he decided to undergo our clan's most difficult trial on his own. And you think he's crazy for trying? I'm not a fan of that word. When I chose to wear a woman's armor, people called me crazy too. I guess Pento just feels like he has to prove himself. To show who he really is. I understand. Believe me. But that climb is hard enough, even without a storm. What is this march you mentioned? This is one of the toughest slopes in Sky Clan territory. It's said that the Ten climbed this mountain in pairs during their war against machines. Our people partner up to earn their soldiers' marks by following in the Old One's footsteps and retrieving the blood crest, a flower that grows on the summit. Until Pento, that is. He insisted on climbing on his own. You mean no one wanted to climb up with him? I tried to stop him, but there were technically no rules against it, so I let him pass. That sounds familiar. The Nora have a similar ritual. No one wanted me in that one either. They're a mistake, I presume? Yep. I could try following the path up the mountain. See if I can find Penta. You said there were two other climbers missing as well? Just one. The other is right there. Zika! Rocco and I, we were climbing back down. There was an avalanche where we got separated. I, I couldn't see anything. Someone's gotta go up there. You can barely see your own feet in that storm. Except I don't need to. I'll be back. The snowfall is blanketing the land. Just if the storm gets too rough, I can always use my focus to find those climbers. I should follow the markers. They'll lead me to the start. Keep. You want some of this? Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. That's not needs help. I round up now. Whoever you are, thanks for the assist. You okay? Not really, but I'll live. Your climbing partner, she said you got separated during an avalanche? My partner? Yeah, the avalanche caught us off guard. Swept me up like a twig. I was sure I was a goner. Then someone grabbed hold of me and pulled me out. It was Penta. He risked his life for me. Did you see where he went? Up that cliff behind you. Said he was gonna finish the climb. I told him it was suicide, but he wouldn't listen. Can you make it back down on your own? Yes. You're not going after him, are you? Go. Get back to Wakata before the storm gets any worse. May the Ten be with you. I have to find Pento before. 
before he gets himself killed. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. I use my focus to pick up Pinto's trail. Those must be Pinto's tracks. Let's hope I can catch up to him. It looks like the avalanche destroyed most of the climbing path. The avalanche destroyed most of the climbing path. The missing soldier must have climbed up this way. This pigment will work well, and Fento made it past here. The path must have collapsed after him. Maybe I can glide across. I made it. I should be able to pick up Pento's tracks again. Get out of my way! Let's hope that's Pento. Penta? Do I know you? Wakata sent me. We need to get off this mountain, now. No. I'm not going back there as a failure. I am getting that flower no matter what. Look, I know what it's like when your tribe looks down on you, but you- Then you understand why I'm either gonna get to the top of this mountain or die on it. Thank you. What are you doing? This climb is meant to be done by two people, right? I'll be your partner. I'll follow your lead. Hey! Better take this! Looks like the trail carries on here. You know my name, but I don't think I caught yours. It's Aloy. You sure you want to involve yourself with the Bulwark's biggest loser, Aloy? I like to make my own judgments about people. You know, it's not like everyone can be born with a sword glued to their hand. What was that? I don't know. Maybe it's just the wind. 
dead end. There's a cl that was amazing. I'll knock uh, this. I'll just down. wait here for it you. It let us reach the climbing path. You won't hear me complaining. We should be able to jump onto that climbing path from the tree. That's some climbing gear you've got. Thanks. It's time to start climbing. That doesn't sound like any storm wind I've ever heard. Almost there. This is it. I can't believe we actually made it. Let's get to that summit then. Rockclaw! Oh, just what we need. We can handle it. Come on. Storm. It's easing up. 
So, how does it feel to make rank? Pretty great, actually. This, this means everything to me. You know, even if you go back with that, it doesn't mean they'll treat you any different. Honestly, I think I just need to prove to myself I could do this. You should go back. Let the others know I'm okay. I'd like to take a moment, if you don't mind. I'll be right behind you. Of course. Thank you. I can probably reach the bottom of the trail faster if I use my shield wing. And get a nice view, too. Oh, this snow's coming I can't thank you enough for being my partner, Aloy. Peaceful now that the storm has passed. I should be reaching the bottom of the trail soon. Pento can't be far behind. There's everyone. Aloy, you have any news? Please. I need to know what happened to my brother. Aloy, you return alone. Where is he? He's my brother. You can't go crying like that, Jekka. You're the sister of a proper soldier now. Bento! Ow! I bring you the blood crest as proof of my march. And with my blessing, you join our ranks. May you find your path on the wings of the Ten. You've got to be kidding me! Him? A soldier? Please. Flower or no flower, we all know all he'll ever be good for is cleaning everyone's sh- <laughs> I think we're done here. Better put some snow on that, or it'll bruise. Thanks for saving my life. Maybe when I get my old soldier's mark, we can fight in the same squad. Give me a chance to return the favor. He's cute. Go on. I'll catch up. Here. Something to commemorate our climb. May the Ten always grant you victory, Aloy. I'll see you around, Pento. Come and trade. Defeat teaches the stir.
Good time to pull out shock ammo. Jera said the old watchtower should be near the falls. I would tell those soldiers to head home. There's the watchtower. I need to talk to their squad leader, Kiva. This will be in my stash when I need it. Are you Kiva? I am. And you. You're the Outlander who killed Regala's champion at the Embassy. Ram Squad was there. We saw your duel. Pavalo still owes me shards. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Chaplain Jera sent me. It's time for you to go home. Jera's cracked then. There's no way our commander will allow us to leave our post. Not after our insubordination. Things have, uh, changed at the bulwark. Dakota won't be able to stop you. Really? He's finally been taken down a notch? All right then. The last member of Ram Squad is on duty at the tower on the mountain. Let me recall him. That's odd. His echo always answers. One of us will have to go up. I can get up there easily. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. The start of the climb is just across the falls. Try not to break your neck, yeah? What's going on? We're moving out. Back to the bulwark. You're shitting me. What about his echo? The Outlander will check on him.
must be the start of the climb. The watchtower should be a climb. I can get it for my stash later. I'll make an interesting color for my armor. There's some kind of machine circling the watchtower. Closer to the watchtower. Looks like I have to climb higher. I gotta take out these machines before I can look around.
soldier assigned to this watchtower. That must be him. <laughs> Judging by these wounds, the Sky Drifter surprised him. At least it was quick. Eva <laughs> sounded her horn. It's a different call from before. I'd better get back down to the watchtower and check on them. The watchtower's under attack. I need to get down there fast. <laughs> Swooping into battle. Those machines are in for a surprise. And the Outlander glides. Oh, here we go. Thanks for the assist. Is his echo on his way down? Actually, the machines got him. Took him by surprise. I'm sorry. What? He was the first of the squad. Our best fighter. He's gone, Kiva. It's just the two of you now. Damn, Takote. All we did was go to the embassy. Follow Chief Ikaro's orders? And what do we get for it? A death sentence dressed up as guard duty. All because Takote has a vendetta against the chief. Well, that ends now. Yeah. Thanks, Outlander. Here. This is for you. Pavalo! We're moving out. Dakota is an underhanded jerk. And maybe now he'll stop wasting lives over political agendas.
gonna try using acid ammo.
Take me down! The officer on my mat said someone in their crew ran off in this direction. I should keep my eyes open. Damn scavengers! Sounds like someone's in trouble. What? Looks like it's strong against shock damage. I think she's gonna need some backup. Sure, she's okay. One four two. Supply drop. Oh. Yes, it's still working. Supply drop. All right. Why? The spike is still intact. Rig's still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours, it's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment. And you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? 
You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. Further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well, like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. It travels by wire down to my contraption. I, I put some coils in there and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. And you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. You're no ordinary tinker. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can well to seem so fine you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. You see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew, one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion. Anyhow... At least out here, I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Sounds like you're still mad at your brother. Some days I am. Other days, I miss him. He's passed on, you see. He didn't have the guts to go against the blast of the bellows and vouch for a lady. Even his own sister. It was cowardly, and I told him so. In fact, I told him we weren't family no more. But over time, I've had cause to regret it. He wasn't a bad sort. He knew how to make me smile when he wasn't being such a lout. I'm sorry he's gone. Yeah, so am I. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not, but I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. And then, please, just don't break anything. You can get a strong color on this. Gotta get climbing.
give her credit, lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. Oh, there's a spike. Might get better reception if I'm next to it. to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. This ought to be a good shortcut. Your rig is picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during a, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh... I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you moved the rig now? I'd try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message... And let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Hmm. Well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind, near a place I'm... Uh, camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Soga. And when you find it, Aloy... I'd be eager to hear what it is. foot from here.
tower should help me pinpoint Silga's signal. Now, what is it you're looking for today? Gotta climb up to look for Silga's signal. I gotta keep climbing to pinpoint that signal. Okay, let's see if I can pick up Silga's signal. Well, I got more of the message, but not enough to find the source yet. Climbing the mountain where my base is should finish the job. Champion, sit, please. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. This mountain 
The southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silka's message. Just gotta look for a path. I've got nothing to report. Don't let the pretty landscapes fool you. It's deadly out here. Don't have much to say right now, champion. But Now that I'm here, I should try climbing up the mountain to get more of Silga's message. The southern face should get me to a good spot. to get higher to try and pinpoint Silva signal.
have to get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal. Looks like I have company. Okay, now to pick up the signal. Where is the best spot? I should try to find a good spot to pick up Silga's message. signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. I'll get a nice view if I glide down from here. I'll mark this spot in my focus. Come back later. My focus is picking up the signal that Silga found. I need to clear out the machines before I can look for the source. Hardwater ammo 
should do the trick. Subsiding. There you are. So, how to get to you. But I'll need to deal with these machines first. my way to the signal source.
looks promising. Right, into the water. inside. And she'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message. Aloy, the words stopped coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. That she'd be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. 
What a feat. To send messages near and far. Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. Turned out well. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> 